Hey, thank you very much for clicking on this video. This is how to edit on Olive. And last video, I promised you that we will look into adding stuff which you did not create with your camera, like text on the screen and add in colors and backgrounds. So last video, we discovered the transition tool. And there is also a tool that has the, the add uh, sign. It says add title, add solid bars, and so on. So let's click on it and we can add a title. Adding a title lets you draw the title. Here you can see that there's a text. It says sample text. We can also add solid color. We can add a color. I just drew on the timeline and it created a solid red color. I can also create bars. That thing, for whatever reason, we can also create a tone. A tone. You can hear it. To like make beeping noises. You can also create noise. You can create all that stuff. Let me remove it. So let's create a title. Let's click on the add sign. Click on title. Let's make a title at the beginning of the video. And let's click on it. And when we click on it, of course, it will come up on the effects panel. And in here, remember that we can modify all the stuff, which is yellow. We can make things bigger, smaller, move left and right. But if we scroll down, we'll see that there are like a few effects. We have transform. We have the effect called transform and the transform effect allows you to make things bigger. It allows you to transform them. And then we also have a, an effect called a rich text. So each effect we can show or hide while clicking on this button right here, or we can disable or enable with the check mark. You can see right here that the if we disable the text effect, of course that get rid, gets rid of the text. If I transform something so it's real big and I remove the transform effect, that will remove um, the effect that makes it bigger. Let me just make it like so. So once you do have a title, I recommend just hiding the transform effect and focusing on the rich text effect. And it has a bunch of settings, like you can actually edit the text itself. Let's write down my video. Exclamation point. And in here we can choose if it's italics, if it's underlined, um, if it's super thin, if it's super bold. The, we can also select the thing and choose like a color. I don't like that color, let me choose white. Oh, you just noticed something. I clicked on, on white, I just selected the white color and it did not actually affect <laughs> my text. First, I have to select the text and then change the color. If I don't select it, or if I don't select all of the text, it will just apply the changes to the thing I selected before. So if I don't select anything and I change the color, then yeah, you don't, you didn't change anything.
can just select that one, make that one like so. There we go. We can also choose padding. And we can also hit OK. But you'll see that the text is super small. Let's go back, select everything, and increase the size. That's kind of bigger. I cho I recommend like choosing a number at around 100%. There you go, I did not take my own advice. So the text size did not change because although yes, I did increase this number right here, I did not select the thing that I wanna edit the size of. So let me select everything as I just did and then change the size after the fact and that's now bigger. So now I can go ahead and add a shadow by clicking here, this check mark. I want of course the shadow color to be dark and then I can choose a shadow distance. How far away is it from the actual thing? I can choose an angle. I choose an angle, now it's coming from this side. Let me exaggerate that. It can come from above, below, however you want. Let me make it so it comes slightly from below. There you go. So we just created a title. However, this is not super easy to read because you can see that in the background, I mean, there's like a bunch of lights hitting like this like music board thing so it's kind of the background of the video is kind of wide the text is is wide so it can be sometimes it can be difficult to make out the text and this is where we can add a solid color so we can create a solid color make the title be above the solid color and that way it will be super easy to read uh, and I can just drag this so it's as long as the title and that way you can of course read what's happening because the background is completely red and of course I have the transform effect and I also have the solid effect solid color we can choose different stuff we can also choose the color. Let's choose black. So it's a black background. And we can also choose this um, opacity. And that refers to, uh, that is the same as transparency. So we can make it 50% transparent. And there we go. Now you can really make out what's happening because the video is transparent. Let's select both and let's make them end on this at the same time as the as the clip changes to the as the video changes to the next cut. There we go. And now uh you might wanna make this title not cover the entire screen right so let's say that instead of making like a, a black background let's say that we do want to make it like red but we don't want to make it like transparent at all oh let me reset that let's say that we want the red uh color to fill up the screen but not the entire screen okay so here is where we can use the transform effect and the transform effect is applied to every video by default so with the transform effect you can choose the x and y position so if you increase it it will the video will slide left and right since that's the x axis and you can choose the y-axis and make it slide up and down. Let's 
make it so it's on the bottom section and then let's select the title and use the transform effect on the title too. Let's select the Y axis and lower that down. And there we go. And now we made a banner. And we can actually use this effect, the transform effect on any clip that we want. So let's say that I want to zoom in on this clip. Okay. I can, let's say that I, I like that is showing the fretboard and his fingers and I like to see his expression like he's you know bump into the song but I think you know there's like an object in the way here and you know there's like an object in the way here and there's like a bunch of wasted space I want to draw attention you know to uh, his hand on the on the fretboard and to the his head you know moving to the beat so I just I can fix it just by zooming in I want to zoom in on this. How can we zoom in? With the transform effect. And remember that, that the transform effect is applied on every clip by default. So let's select this clip. And there it is, the transform effect. Let's zoom in. And then let's modify the X value and the position, then the Y value. And there we go. Let me zoom out just a bit. You can also use the mouse to zoom in. Okay, so at this point, we can finally answer the question, what the hell is this point in the center? And why should we or should we not uh, click on it? That is the anchor point. Okay, so if we zoom in and out, we will be zooming in and out from the anchor point. So let's say that the anchor point is over here. Then we'll be zooming in and out out of that point. So if in the past you wanted to like make some changes and you accidentally moved the anchor point and you want to make some changes in the future, whoa, you might not get the result that you're looking for. But now, since I just want to zoom in, uh, so we can ignore this part being blocked by, by an object, and we can get rid of this wasted space, I can just move my anchor point to the place where I want everything to zoom in, and just zoom in like that. I can still see, like, a, there we go. So that's it. That's how you can create text, move it around. You can create solid colors. You can choose any color you want. You can move it around by using the transform effect. And you can actually use the transform effect on anything to zoom in and out. Next, we're going to show you how to actually export your clip. So you can upload your clip to YouTube or something like that or pass it on to a friend. So yeah, uh, next uh, tomorrow's video will be super simple and quick. Just uh, stay subscribed for that and happy editing.